wrestling fans, and welcome to Wrestling Gab. Hello. So, we have some sad news in the world of professional wrestling. Yes. Rocky Johnson from uh, the 80s, he was a wrestler. He is uh, more famous nowadays because of his son is The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Anyways, he passed away today. Yes. So, very sad news. Very, very sad. To, and to spread. They gave it, they put both on AEW and on NXT. They pr brought it up at the very beginning of their stuff of that. So that is yep. pretty cool that they did that. Yeah, both of them were paying their respects. Yeah. All right, well, we're here for Bash at the Beach. It looks like something's already going on. <coughs> they started Excuse with peeps in the ring. I think she's fluish. I am not fluish. You got I Adam Pac-Man page. Pac-Man, not Pac-Man. And Kenny Omega. Ah. Anyways, we have Aaron and Luke in the chat. Hey, Luke. Hello, everybody. Hello. I just left the chat. And I do not have a flu. Do you hear me out there? I like inhaled my spit. No, who's that? Oh, Santana and Ortiz. We haven't seen them for a few weeks. Nobody cares. You don't like Santana and Ortiz? I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Looks like an eight-man tag team. Whoop, whoop. Do you do like go get a different hairdo? Orange he's like, Cassidy. He's that like, means you know, the best friend. So we got Trent in there too. I can't remember the other guy. He didn't want to. Oh, Chuck Taylor. That's right. The shoes from the 80s. He didn't want to do, um, what do you call that? Racial appropriation or whatever it is. Santana or Ortiz. So he took his braids out. And now instead of having braids, he has an afro. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Which is hilarious because and the I young think bucks. He's Hispanic. Hmm. <laughs> How exciting! This is a way to get the bash at the beach. When do you think they would have it on a beach? They're inside, seriously. So AEW signed a new four-year contract, so they're going to be around for a while. I thought for sure they would uh, be done after a year. Who? AEW. I said to oh, that. They're oh, they're signed yeah. through twenty-three. I put it on our Instagram and page. And they're actually going to be in the positive now. They're going to yeah. be making about $45 million a year for the next four years. So Luke said Rocky Johnson wasn't the only one to pass today. The guy who played Walter from The Walking Dead passed today also. I've wasn't never seen it. Like, like the one that everybody was like, oh my gosh, he should totally be on every single one of them. He's not very old. Pretty Drugs, sure maybe? Walter wasn't very old. Maybe he was though. I never watched them. I've just seen stuff. So. What are you, are you saying stuff? Stuff. <laughs> Anyways, you you're welcome, Luke. Through? I, I did we didn't know if it'll work though. Um, Hopefully it works. With Twitch, it's different. With Twitch, you have to like have a, be a partner in order to be able to have that option quality option for you guys all the time so in all reality when we get on it's kind of a hit and miss so like sometimes you'll be able to and sometimes you won't more often or not you won't sometimes if you get enough viewers like it will make it so you can change it for your stream but the next time though yeah the you next can't change time. it during yeah and so it it's kind of a bummer with twitch that's the one thing about it that we're just kind of like that's dumb <laughs> with youtube it doesn't matter you don't have to you know be a partner or have this many followers or whatever to yeah have it's always option. available it's just available constantly so it kind of but we tried i looked up and said well maybe if we lower the obs maybe <laughs> i did i just lowered it to the lowest that i could find without doing custom I can custom lower it, I believe, but right now it's at 360 or 380, yeah. 3 whatever it is, 340, something, whatever that one is, and Young Bucks. Right. So, looks like Aaron's wearing his Undisputed Era shirt tonight. Ooh. And, um... I'm wearing my new hoodie. I got a new hoodie today. Yeah, he got his Wrestling Gab hoodie today, finally. <laughs> it's orange. <laughs> and then, in uh, case you're colorblind, I'm like, in case you're colorblind, on the thing it looks blue, but mine's purple. Like, it is kind of blue on there, huh? Yeah, it's even on my phone. It looks like it's blue, but it's actually it's probably because of the light. Purple. Yeah, it's very. 
purpley. It's very purple. And this is very, very orange too. And it looks a lot lighter on there, like a cream. Yeah. Yep. And then. Lies. Um, lies. Lies. Um, let's see. So we got a hell of a tag team match going on right now. Is this for a number one contendership? Uh, maybe it doesn't really specify anywhere in the stuff so i'm not sure what it is entailing um aaron's also saying that velasquez is entering the rumble that yeah. he confirmed it in an interview today yeah that would not surprise me and then the fiend bray white's in the chat hey fiend nice hey. to see ya he says universal champion is in the chat and tyler will not be in the chat because he is in surgery to remove the screws from his wrist due to the fact that there was fluid buildup in his wrist here we <laughs> um let's see and so Luke is he allergic said, to yes. metal walter was the older guy in the first two seasons uh, okay never seen it i i haven't ever watched it but i know that he was a really popular character and people were really upset when walter was gone i know a, <laughs> That's an older know. buddy of mine that he he just loved it his wife watched all of it brett I oh. watched all those. Wow, that's funny. I don't know if it's still on or if they're still doing it or whatever, but I was going to watch it when it first started, and then I just never did. And I was like, well, I'll jump into it. And now know? it's like 14 seasons deep. It's like, yeah, no. And it, well, and it just looks so <laughs> corny when I was, like, looking at the recent stuff. Yeah. And I have a hard time watching stuff that I know is going to end bad. Right. Let's see. Um, it's kind of like Sheldon. You ever watch the Sheldon episode where he's talking about series and whether he ha like he has a whole entire mathematical equation on whether, whether it's, it's worth invested. his time or not? Right. He's like, that better be worth my time. It's true, though. It better be worth your time. Like, there's some shows I really like, and then they end it, like, after one or two seasons, and I'm just right. like, guess are hated. If it's over 100 hours, I have to seriously debate it. I have to like go through serious debates on whether it's worth that part of my loss of my life. Right. <laughs> but like, um, what's that one? Not Lord of the Rings. What's that? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. That one, since I've read the books, I'm kind of just, I just want to see how they ended it because the books haven't ended yet. Right. And so I kind of want to see how they ended it. Um, and so, and that one's only 80 hours. That one's pretty easy math. There's eight seasons, 10 hours. Or one hour per show, 10 shows per season. Right. 80 hours. Pretty easy math. Look um, at Keith Lee with his pink shoes on. He's going breast cancer awareness. Is he? Isn't that what Looks that like is? he hurt himself. Hey, well, he, he just got jumped limping. by the Undisputed. Oh. Anyways, Aaron is hoping Punk or his boy Canal spends the Rumble. And he's excited about Aubrey the ref. And Luke said, which is our other stuff we haven't said yet, but the AEW, we kind of mentioned it. The AEW got a three-year extension on TNT. Yeah. Um, he says, but WWE had six talents in the Performance Center yesterday and signed four already, including Melanie Martinez, who was in AEW. Were all the other six, um, all six of them AEW talents, or was it just her that was an AEW talent? None of them looked familiar over? to me. I was looking at them, and I was like, huh. I don't know any of them. I knew the girl, but I didn't know any of the other ones. Right. And then... Uh, but that doesn't mean anything. I, I don't know if they would have signed with AEW for, what, a cup of coffee? Because it's only been around for, in, in a reality, for, what, six months? Right. Yeah. I mean, on TV, TV. Well, it's I mean, only it's been, been around, around for three months on TV. This is their 15th show. Oh. But they were around before that. They did a pay-per-view before, and they had they were signing some people before they went live. Oh. But on I TV, they they've only been around, around since October. a little bit longer than that. But anyways, and Aaron got pizza tonight, and the, the pizza, pizza guy ripped him off. Ripped him of off. Mm -hmm. And Son he loves of, uh, your hoodie. Can I have it? No. It's mine. You can't <laughs> have it. I want to keep my own hoodie. No touchy. Maybe, no touchy. Maybe he's talking about my hoodie. <laughs> he said, I love your hoodie. It was our, probably yours. Probably, because orange. orange is cooler than pink or purple, whatever you have. I'm have colorblind all this one. I wore it the other day. It said Yeah, no. but that's not. <laughs> that's uh, let's see. His girlfriend got buzzed, or his fiance got buzzed last night. That's probably not good. Wait, what? But she had only one drink. <laughs> Fetal alcohol syndrome. Have you read that? <laughs> I have a buddy. His brother was born with it. and Did he's... she drink one drink, or did she drink multiple drinks? 
She was probably an alcoholic throughout the pregnancy. Yeah, because one drink is not going to do that damage. <laughs> it could have been in the brain development stage. I'm sure it was probably in the finger development stage. And I'll probably have all ten. So he's going to have a short finger. Son of a bitch. Sweetie, stop it. You're just going to scare people. Don't be weird. It's fine. You should be scared to drink alcohol if you have a baby in you. Let's party some babies in you. Ew. Yuck. That's disgusting. No, thank you. It's not a dirty grandpa. <laughs> Santana um, and Ortiz. Says, Spoiler alert, Aaron Kellos ain't winning the Rumble because he sucks ass. And Yeah, spoiler on that one for Aaron sure. Aaron said, you never know in the Rumble, Bray. And the Fiend says, yeah, he sucks ass. And Aaron says, but he's my boy. Uh, now and if the Fiend told him, you gay. If you're going to be putting <laughs> money on either of those two guys that you picked, you better put your money on Punk. And I don't even know if he'll be in it, but he's still safe for bed. <laughs> uh, the Fiend asked, did you guys see R? R. R. Just R. What's R? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Is it a movie? Is there a new movie called R? But that I know of. Oh, Fiend says, did you guys see Tyler live on Instagram yesterday during WWE 2K17? He played as Undertaker against Roman Reigns with me as a special guest ref. No. Yes, I actually did pull that up and watched it for a little bit. I didn't say anything. I gave you a heart or two. <laughs> I was like, what? I have to do stuff. I didn't know this was I was happening. at work, so <laughs> it was kind of late. Well, it wasn't really late for us, but it was late for him, but it was later at night. Huh, that's cool. I think I was at work. I'm pretty sure. That's why I could only watch it for a little bit. So... We got Omega in there with Trent, it looks like. Since you've lost all concept that we're watching wrestling. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to catch up with the chat here. You have to catch up. Well, you kept talking, so I couldn't run through everybody's I have stuff. to talk. That's my job. Well, then I can just leave and not talk. That's Well, then my who job. am I going to be talking to? Just to Yourself. Have... The problem well, you is... can't talk to them because you won't read the chat. Exactly. So you have no idea what's going on. Exactly. And now I can't tell you what's going on because you're like, oh, hey, why are you watching that? We should be watching wrestling. I'm pretty sure they want to hear us talk about a little bit of the wrestling. Well, tell them all about what's going on. Right now, everybody's outside. It's pandemonium all over. No, oh, aren't. Kitty, um... Not you everybody's you outside. Since I was just about oh, to he just got there. tripped on his oh, face. Oh, and pulled outside with nails. That's gross. Santana off the top. Tailed on Omega and Paige. I love that I'm getting their names. Because then I can actually do it right. Yeah. After 15 weeks of doing this. That's Trent. Do it right. Um, the Jacksons, I'm sure. I'm still not sure which ones are which. But I guess it doesn't matter. Because I don't know what freaking Usos which Uso. So. Not at this point. I always try to hear it at the beginning to see which one's Matt and which one's Nick, and then I always look to see what they're wearing. One of them will, will wear a hairband, or one of them will have something else on, and I can go from there. Luke said one of the other guys um, that was there was Atlas something or something Atlas. He also signed with who was also signed with AEW till he left. But the all all the others are indie pros, so just two. How in the are hell were AEW. they? Like, what kind of contracts are AEW using? Just kind of like little quick one show deals or something they must have a lot of freedom to just do whatever they want at some point you think they'll start locking them into exclusives but maybe they won't maybe some of these guys want to stay independent so they can go work in other companies maybe I don't know Aaron's picking the Joker to win everything at the Oscars, though, and says that people are mad that, that he got nom that it got nominated for everything. Right, which makes sense, especially in Hollywood. Um, the Fiend says, "Don't tell Tyler, but Bailey may be going to EW after WrestleMania. The only question is, will he still be a Bailey lover when she goes to Raw?" I mean, AEW. Well, I don't know where that so. rumor came from, but I very, very highly doubt that. <laughs> that sounds like a really weird rumor. <laughs> that Vince would let any of those women go. Yeah, I don't think any of them are going to be going over to AEW anytime soon. I mean, AEW. Oh, wow, they kicked the ref right in the face. 
Yeah, we got all sorts of pandemonium. So that means something's going to happen. It's going to be, uh, and the ref what's that called? A scrum. They're in a it. scrum. Which side's going to win this? So they're, one side's going to suplex the whole other side. Ooh, and since that win? side's in the middle of the ring, I'm assuming it's going to be them. And, oh, Orange Cassidy's going to be the deciding factor. Who's he going to kick? Who knows? Wow, everybody's just in weird headlocks. He's an assassin. Uh oh. Oh, he got involved. It's over. They're going to go. Boom! Ooh. That's terrifying. You got to do your thumbs up. Don't try too hard. <laughs> Don't try too hard. I wonder if I shouldn't make a shirt with myself on it like that. Right. Luke oh, says, from what I friends. saw, the AEW contracts have a clause that if the, that star isn't being used for a certain percentage on TV or their event by a certain date, then the star can walk if offered another opportunity. Huh. Well, there you go. Talk about a release <sighs> clause. That's crazy. Heron says, why is WWE, why it is, is it WWE isn't allowed to say CB when oh, he... Un to oh, isn't allowed to say Chris Benoit when he killed people, but why is it that they don't ban the name Jimmy Snuka because he killed somebody, but right, they but still mention his name? Right, because Jimmy Snuka, let's start there, is he was acquitted. Yeah, that so doesn't mean he did it. He was found innocent before he died. It wasn't months, it was just a few months before he died, I'm pretty sure, maybe a year. Yeah. But, I mean, that's one. But and Chris Benoit. It, he, and he killed a child. Killed himself and his whole family. Yeah, that one's. He's a loser. That one's brutal. We know he did it. <laughs> it's a proven and, fact. And, you know, <laughs> so, I'm not saying that Snooka didn't do it. Because right? he, it was like in the middle of the 80s when the girl disappeared. So it's really hard to prove something, you know, 30 years later. Hmm. Right. So, anyways. And, yeah, they're going to use Snooka. First of all, his daughter's there. Tamina. Mm-hmm. That would be my answer to that question. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, if unless you believe that, like, Kevin Sullivan somehow got involved and went and killed everybody and got away with it. Well, if you're going to go that far, then they should ban Rey Mysterio because he killed somebody. He killed somebody with a wrestling move inside the ring. It wasn't Doesn't hidden. matter. It was, he it was, still killed him. It was a complete mistake. And it was it, an accident. And it wouldn't have been him that did it. Right? But, I mean... He he did a wrestling move. Somebody else should have noticed there was something wrong. So the liability would have went somewhere else, not to him. Like the referee, the company. Right. I'm just saying that if we're going to... If we're going to... Uh, how would you say... Have a name contest? No, 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 no. Yeah, no, like no. what name should be said because of what crimes they've done? Um, nitpick at specifics about it, about why their names are or aren't said. <laughs> you know, then hmm, Ray Mysterio should be in that group <laughs> because he killed somebody, whether or not it was an accident or not. I'm just saying that he did. Well, so far. This year in AEW, which we're only a couple shows into, this is the best match so far this year. Is it because there's so many people involved? No, because it's brutal. You haven't been watching it. Ooh. And Omega and Paige just won it. Yeah, because they pinned the best friends, dude. Did they Trent? pin Trent? God. I think it was Trent. Damn it, Trent. I have a cousin named Trent. Ugh, Trent. He used to have a different name, but they just cut it down to Trent. So that's the only way He's I know like how to He's like the Carl of the best friends. Carl. Jeez, Carl. <laughs> so Young Buck's coming in. Uh, Aaron says, Travis, here's, I'm hoping the rest of the class I'm hoping for in the Hall of Fame. Shamrock, Eric. Bishaw. Bischoff and Kelly Kelly. I wouldn't mind to see Kelly Kelly in there. I don't know who's in and who's not already. 
But they have to put in some legends from the old days. They always seem to. Yeah. And so I'm trying to think who's not in there. Is George the Animal still in the Hall of Fame? He should be in there. Did you say still in the Hall of Fame? Or are you trying to say still not in the Hall of Wait, Fame? Wait, what are you uh, saying? <laughs> you said, is George the Animal still in the Hall of Fame? Because he should be. George the Animal still is his name. Is he in the Hall of Fame? Okay. George the Animal still in the Hall of Fame. So his name is Still? Yeah, George the Animal Steel. Okay. <laughs> He used to eat the turnbuckles, and he had a green tongue. That's gross. And he was like a weird animal, and he loved Elizabeth. And he would always chase her around, and he carried her off. And then Randy Savage and him had a huge old battle over her once. It was pretty fun. It was childhood memories. <laughs> Aaron says, I hate when NXT and AEW are on the same night because I want to watch big, but I can't. Why can't AEW move to Thursday or Saturdays? I don't know, but AEW is going to be adding a show. That was part of their contract. So there will be another night of wrestling. Now, my question would be, it's not going to be on, you wouldn't think, on Tuesday or Thursday. Because that's when, I mean, it would just, wouldn't make a lot of sense because they have a big show on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So why would they have two shows in two days? But WWE did it. With True. SmackDown and Raw. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to see. But it does sound like the second show will be recorded and they'll just move it to a four-hour taping. So AEW would be a four-hour taping, and then it would be a one-hour show when it's on. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah, so they're going to do four hours of content, and then they're going to chop it all down to one hour, so you have no idea what's going on. No. So you don't. <laughs> so AEW well, show... that's what it sounded like. No, AEW show that we're watching will still be on live. Then it will continue for two hours off the air. They will record it. They will take one hour, put it on dark, and one hour and put it on a different show later on in the week. Oh. But they'll call it something else. Just like when they used to record SmackDown. Oh. Okay. They would just record it after the show. So if you go to an event, it'll be four hours long. But if you're watching it really on TV. Long event. It's all the WWE ones are that long. Really? That's mm -hmm. ridiculous. Yeah, because there's always pre fights and then there's always post fights at the WWE events, okay. except for the pay per views. The fiends, but they're always five the hours. Anyway. Telling Aaron he complains too much. Um, Lou said NWO is in Hall of Fame this year. Yeah, that's exciting. And except for they put freaking X Pac in the in NWO, and I think if they're going to put X Pac in the NWO, then they need to put everybody else in the NWO, which is just ridiculous. But that's my opinion on that one. Like, I get Hall, Nash, and Hogan, because mm -hmm. they were... But then they, they're they putting in X-Pac. The only reason I can see them doing that is just because he was friends with Triple H. Mm. And he was in the Degeneration X. Yeah. With those guys. Sammy Guevara versus John Moxley. That's happening tonight. Hmm. Yeah, so the winner of that match will be... In a match for the number one contendership. Ooh. Number one Look contender. at Chris Statlander. And Sheeta against Brandy Rhodes and Mel. Old Mel. They're going to have Brandy do some wrestling, huh? Can't wait to see Brandy wrestle. Crazy. Old Pack and Darby, the house elf. Old Darby. He's going to apparate right in the middle of the match. It's creepy. Then Cody responds to MJF. It's up next. Ooh, we get to see what's happening in the what's Cody saga. Say? What's he going to say? Anyways, Aaron says, oh, and Rick Mattel, Martel? Rick, the mar model, Martel. Martel. And Chavo Sr., Hornswoggle, and Batista got in there. But you do the shows on Saturday. But I understand why they have it on Wednesday to compete with NXT. But my favorite Ooh, is getting the Chavo. better ratings because we are undisputed and we won't back down. Are they getting the better ratings? AEW? No, NXT. AEW gets the better ratings. Yeah. There you go, Aaron. Your favorite brand is not getting the better ratings. AEW is getting the better ratings. Check your facts. 
Anyways, Erza's which includes Sean. Because Sean Michaels was in NWO for like a year. And uh, or and Darby Allen versus Neville or AKA Pack. Okay, now that we got all that cleared up, Luke says Torrid Wilson might be might have to have super serious back and spine injuries. She retired years ago due to back issues. She has been doing workout stuff. Yeah, I watch her and on the other YouTube. Day she stood up and some and got back. And her, oh, and her back locked up so bad she fell and couldn't move to get a phone for 10 minutes. Holy crap. Oh. Yeah, I was watching her do squats Aww, with a water bottle in her hand. You do squats with a water bottle with the lid off, and then if you don't spill it, you're doing it right. And if you spill water, you're doing it too fast. Yeah. That's... So I've worked Hopefully out with Tori Wilson okay. before. So Tori Wilson's from here. And so like she was a, a part of the gym. Oh yeah, that's right. You told me about that. Yeah. You like worked out with her when yeah. you were doing your Her and this guy, and you guys might you remember were, him. The older fans it. might remember him. But his name was um what was it? Billy Kidman? Anyways, that wasn't his real name. I can't remember his real name, but Billy Kidman was his wrestling name. He was like a 205 guy back in the day, but it was over on uh, WCW, and they called it uh, just the cruiserweight division. Huh. We're going to have to Tory. listen into a little bit. Of, yeah, it's Tori Wilson. Tori. Anyways, the surgery has a 15% chance to paralyze her. Ugh, that's terrifying. Poor girl. So Cody's going to wrestle Wardlow. When is that going to happen? I'm excited to see Wardlow wrestle. What do you mean he's going to wrestle him? That was part of the deal. That was the number two part of the deal. Oh. He cannot so touch him. Cody cannot touch him during right. Mental Revolution. Ten, Ten lashes. Ten lashes on live TV. Still cage match against Wardlow. Obviously, Cody is going for the Don Johnson look. Hey, they're at the beach. In Miami. I was like, he looks like he's from Miami. <laughs> I love the white sports coat. Yeah. If I could pull it off, I'd totally do it. But I'd get it dirty without even touching. I could be in a padded room and that would get dirty. Aaron says he knows Billy Kidman. So that name's familiar to him. Yeah. Um, Aaron says he's in my indie show where Anaheim does indie shows. They have their own indie shows. Nice. That's a lot yeah, of Yeah, they dated or were married or something for a long time. I don't know if they were married at the time. I don't know if they ever did get married. Oh. He won't compete in them until February 27th. Luke says, and what do you think of Triple H's joke, quote unquote? Oh my God, I wish I would have heard it. Because all I saw was that he apologized for it, which makes it, you know, that's, I, I get that he's a high ranking official. But I don't think he should ever apologize for a joke. Because it's a joke. Well, maybe people shouldn't get fucking offended. Right. But fucking it's, put on your big panties, But it's people. 2020. I do want to hear it. So if you want to type it up, type it up for me. Or find me a link or something. Because I do want to hear the yeah, joke. Yeah, tell us the joke. I want to know what it was. Is it something to do with her porn I work, career? So I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I just know he said something that it was offensive and she got offended by it. Oh, God. Put on your big girl panties. Get over yourself. Fuck. Maybe that's what it was, that she doesn't like to wear panties because she's in porn. I don't know. I'm making up my own jokes at this point. <sighs> she probably wouldn't even feel that that was a joke. Can't even touch him. Don Johnson. Max. No, I don't want to know what he's doing personally. He likes to thumb his brain. That's gross. Ew, Cody. That's just nasty, buddy. Don't be thumbing people's brains. Gross. It's not MGF. It's Cody. That's why I said, Cody, oh. don't be thumbing people's brains. It's gross. Oh, 
Is he halfway decent at pro wrestling or is he halfway decent on the microphone, which makes him a great wrestler? So Aaron's like, Paige, hell yeah, she can ride on me any day. And then he goes goes on to say, who watches porn? I don't understand. Porn is nasty. Dude, you just said porn. You just talked porn. Who did? Aaron oh, did. About her riding him? Paige, hell yeah, she is can ride on talk? me any day. <laughs> who watches porn? I don't understand. Porn is nasty. Uh... <laughs> Well, <laughs> um, there's certain types of porn I don't like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> and he's getting ready for his debut on the 27th. Aaron's Mr. Love. It's happening. Mr. Love. Oh, Mr. Love. All right. You. Luke says, in a meeting... He was asked a question about some male stars. He answered, then said, but I need to keep an eye on Paige. She might have kids out there she doesn't know about. <laughs> the joke was funny. However, given her questionable past and her inability to ever have her own children, the nice. vice president of the company she works for maybe should have left that joke alone. That's pretty funny. That's fucking hilarious. She needs to fucking get off her high fucking horse. I'm sorry that she has infertility issues and that really sucks for her. That does but suck. But you know what? Her fucking past, she better fucking own that shit because it's out there and she will always have that. No matter what, you can't get rid of that shit. It's there. So she better fucking own it. So the bitch better just fucking own up to it and be like, yeah, I was fucking in a porn. Oops, it got leaked to the society. Oh, oh well. Sex tape. It was me. Whatever. Move on. That's fucking stupid. She got offended by that. Oh, my God. It's pretty God. funny be because of the, you know, like, women can't impregnate dudes. <laughs> Even if she could have children, she would know if it was her fucking kid. That's why it's funny. It's funny because it can't be true. <laughs> exactly. Like, that's hilarious. Unless she's, like, giving her eggs out. <laughs> she's like, oh, hey. <laughs> So, I mean, his apology should have been like, well, I'm sorry that she can't take a joke. <laughs> exactly. No, I'm sorry. You don't have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have made fun of your infertility issues. Like, that oh, wasn't when did he make fun of her of infertil infertility? Not even. Not even. Not, but that's where people will take it. Right, because they have it's to exactly take it. exactly where people <laughs> will take it. Because, you know. It's like the media. I'm so offended. That, yeah. that literally is the media right there. Like. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said this, which meant this. That's like where the media starts to imply that you meant something else. Right. It's like, well, he has to be a racist. If you think in there, something to do with race. There has to be race in that. <laughs> right. It's like, what? Oh. Where did race come from? Luke says, I agree the joke is funny, but my question is, should your boss be making that joke? He made that joke at a board meeting during a press conference. It just seems very bad timing. And everybody makes mistakes, but I don't think you should have had to apologize for it. Everybody should get their heads out of their asses, get their panties out of their bunches, up their assholes, and just be like, you know what? It was a joke. Right. And what Paige should do is fucking own up to the fact that she's a fucking, has a sex tape out there. She fucked two dudes on fucking tape, and it got leaked to everybody. And anytime that you do shit like that, you better think in your brain that shit like that might happen. Right. So, I'm sorry, bitch. You better fucking just own up to it. You did it. You can't fucking erase it now. Even if it never got leaked, she still knows she did it. Right. But he <laughs> is a male talking about a female. It's 2020. You don't do it. Right? Like, that's just... It's just not the way the world works anymore. Well, then bitches better keep their fucking mouths shut, too. But no, no they yes, don't have they to. should because bitches shouldn't be saying the shit that they like to say either. Right. But they don't, don't be making fun of men then. But don't it, be doing it, bitches. Keep your fucking mouths shut. Right. But it's okay if they do. It. No, it's not. I'm they, offended by it. I'm completely well, offended by well, it. Then you can get upset about it, but men aren't going to get upset about it because it doesn't affect them. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. It shouldn't affect women either. They're fucking pansy ass bitches. Fuck hell. Jesus. Stupid cunts. Exactly. Using the C word. I am using the C word because that's what they are. 
just bullshit. That's just dumb. I mean, I get maybe to a certain point that, oh, yeah, the timing wasn't good. But it, even if he would have said it not in that place and with that much stuff, he still would have had to apologize because she still would have got her panties in a bunch about right, it. Right, because... Because she's a fucking... I'm sensitive. The only way... I'm he, so sensitive. The only way a human can be offended <sighs> is if they choose to be. That's true. Right? There's no other way to be offended by something unless you decide that you want to be offended by it. Right. Nothing can defend, uh, offend you unless you decide you want to be offended. It's true. And Very that's a true. fact. It is a fact. I know, because I own up to it. I get offended by some stuff, and I chose to be offended by it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then I move on with my life. <laughs> it's Joey Janelle. <laughs> Aaron saying H H Triple H must have had to have been coming up with that joke. Ha ha ha! Get it coming. Ha 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 ha! So funny. He's crying of laughter, and he's like, "Read my coming joke because he's so funny." <laughs> Luke says. She called Triple H and they discussed it and they hashed it out. According to Triple H in a separate interview, he said he himself came to the decision to apologize. Right. <laughs> His wife's like, seriously, you cannot joke about anything. You are a dude. This is 2020. No, that's not it. You can joke about it. Just don't do it on camera. No, you or in board meetings. Or in the privacy or on home case you're getting recorded. Like, ever. Hulk Hogan's thing that he did was in privacy. It came out, and then all of a sudden he was a racist. That's what I see. People like, are fucking... You I cannot fucking say I stuff goddamn hate at it. all. I hate PC. I hate it. Hate it. The PC police? I hate everything about it. This era just drives me bonkers. It's not an era. It's here no, to stay. No, as I said, it's an era. No. And it'll change. It'll get worse. It will. That's why I mean. It'll change. And I hate it. At some point, <laughs> you're going to have to talk to every single person with, like, kid gloves. And then they're still going to get offended. Because they've allowed it. Like, yeah. They're all a bunch of babies. It's all about censoring speech. It's part of the future. Is how, how much speech can you censor and still have people be able to communicate? Have freedom? With, oh, there's no such thing Oh, as freedom's that. going away. There's no such thing as that. Too bad. You're done. La, 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 la. It's Chris Statlander. We like Statlander. She's the one one. You can. You don't like Statlander? Not really. She's weird. I don't like her. Is it because how she's shaped or something? No, it has nothing to do with her shape or her body type or anything like that. I just don't. Her character is weird. I'm not a fan of it. I just like her wrestling ability. Which is fine. I just find her. She's just odd. But. I'm Mel's like a foot taller than everybody else in the ring. Looks like Aaron decided their name for their boy is going to be Aaron Samuel Reed Jr. Good. What there if go. what if it's a girl? They already know it's a boy. Oh, never mind. Well, what if the ultrasound was wrong? That is a possibility that can happen. Just so you know, have a backup name for a girl just in case. Sheeta. <laughs> That's probably not it. <laughs> we got Luther just standing right in front of Sheeta. Can't get to the ring. Oh, because the Nightmare Collective is kicking the pants off of oh, Chris God. Statlander. Sheeta just attacked. She whacked him, Luther but she with wasn't a able stick. to like hit him very hard because she was impeded by her coat. <laughs> what does she have? Is that a kendo stick? Yeah, it's a kendo stick. Mel just attacked her from behind. She just is carrying around a kendo stick like it's a samurai sword. <laughs> I'm interested to see this Mel. She's tall, but she doesn't look too overly coordinated. Luke so I kind of want to see how this oh, works. Oh, for some reason, Liv tweeted a pic of her standing in front of the NXT stage with her back to the camera. Hmm. Is she going back down to NXT? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> You're funny, Aaron. Don't what? name your kid Delifa. <laughs> he said our backup name for our girl if we have one is Summer Delifa Reed. Don't do that. <laughs> don't 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 harm your child like that. Just don't. <laughs> this, this third one in America. It's gonna go viral. <laughs> ah, don't name 
your kids that? <laughs> There'll be hundreds of them in 2040. <laughs> Hopefully I'm dead. <laughs> Why would you be dead in 20 years? I don't know, but I hope I am. <laughs> I'm supposed to die at 40. I was hoping it would happen. Are you, spo- are you playing with a Ouija board or something? I was predicting. My sister thought she was going to die this last year before her birthday. <laughs> because of a Ouija board told her that when she was 16. Right. So she oh. had like panic attacks for like a year. That's funny. And then her birthday came so she knew she was going to die the day before her birthday and then her birthday came and it Is that why happened. she became single and all that crap? She just, well, she just, <laughs> she went I'm whack. Dead. She went wackadoo. How crazy. Full out wackadoo. So, um. <laughs> From something that happened when she was, was like 40 years so before. It has nothing to do with a Ouija board, by the way. It has to do with family genetics. So, like, on my mom's side of the family, like, there's people who literally die of major heart attacks when they turn 40. At 40 years old. Like, 40 to 44. Yeah. So, <laughs> I oh, was you, like, well. You should probably well, go get your ticker checked out. I'm like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just say that's going to happen. Probably should get you some insurance. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Oh, let's see. <laughs> Aaron says NXT. We are undisputed at NXT. Never backs down from a fight. We are now. He's singing the their fight song. Loogie board, Ouija board, Loogie board. I don't believe in that type of shit because I go to church. You can believe in the L- Luigi board if you go to church. <laughs> L- loogie board, <laughs> <The> old loogie. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> Uh, Luke says, when I was bored, my first name was still very uncommon because Star Wars was new. Now my name is everywhere, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Isn't that true? It's so true because you never heard of Luke's, like, when we were going to school, like, really a lot until Star Wars became very popular. Star Wars just, was popular before we were in school, people. I know, but they didn't deem their kids that, though. How many Lukes did we go to school with? Can you even name one? Yeah, I had one. I'm trying okay, to one. Out of how pain. many? I think his last one was pain. Okay. That's what I'm saying, though. It just wasn't... Now it's everywhere. Like, everybody names their kid... Now everybody's naming their kid fucking kal Fucking Superman's name. That's pretty cool. My God. I'm like, what? There was a payroll I was doing. Or what? I didn't even think about it while I was doing it because they don't have the apostrophe. So... Okay. Like, like, isn't Kal El like oh, K A? No All right, Luke will know. Luke, how do you do Kal El? Is it like K A apostrophe L E L, or is it K A apostrophe E L? I can't remember if there's two L's in it or one L. I know there's a weird apostrophe though, isn't it, or a space or something between it? Yeah, Luke said the only other popular. Yeah, it's K-A-L-E-L. Okay. I knew there was like a dash or a apostrophe or a space or something. So the Luke that I was thinking about when you were talking about Luke's, my mom used to make us, well, not make us, but we'd all, whenever we'd stay home from school, there was a soap opera on. It was called, <laughs> it was, Luke and Laura. It was called General <laughs> Hospital. And it's still the like most famous <laughs> wedding in That's television right. history. Luke, Luke, and, Luke, Luke and Laura's Laura. wedding. Luke and Laura. Uh, but you had already been out. born by then, but right. Well, but I think Luke was around before we were born. Well, he says, yeah, they're popular. Luke's were Luke from the Bible and Luke from an old old West show, Gunsmoke. Right. I don't yes. remember Luke on Gunsmoke because <laughs> I watch Gunsmoke. Luke's I still like, watch that show. Luke's like, oh yeah, I forgot about him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he had like, the, like, look at Laura. I remember. I used to watch that. The, like, Jufro that he had the, the general hospital. That's funny. I never saw any of those, by the way. Like, if I stayed home from school, I usually watched tapes, like VHS tapes. Yeah, my mom, my mom, my mom watched soap operas. So. We, my mom didn't watch TV, and so we got to watch stuff. If we were really sick, though, you weren't allowed to watch TV. You better be in bed if you're sick. Well, you we could were... stay in your room, and you could be sick. Unless it was like a snow day. And if it was a snow day, your ass was outside. <laughs> My mom was the type of mom that was like, get the f- out of the house and get out. Just get out. Go out there and play. Be kids. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, actually. But that's what we did. Um, the only place I ever saw my name was on Old Yeller. 
That's the only place I can even imagine that I came from. Yeah. There wasn't a lot of Travis's. There was a lot of last name Travis, but there was not a lot of first name in cinema, uh, you know, in the 60s, 70s, 80s. Wherever my parents would have got the idea for my name. And my dad passed away a few years ago, so I can't ask him. And if I ask my mom, she just makes something up. So right. there's no way I'm going to be able to find out where my name maybe actually originated. Maybe your sister might. I mean, she was old enough to maybe kind of know, like, where it might have came from. You know? Maybe. What are you going to name him? I don't know. Travis. That sounds like a good name. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Actually, doesn't at all. Why not? Ronda Rousey is married to a Travis. Is she really? Yes, his name is Travis. Hmm. There, I went to a school with a kid named Travis Too Good, and I always thought that was a really cool name. You're Travis. You're too good. It's like that should have been my name. <laughs> <laughs> Old Too Good. I don't know. It doesn't really flow off the mm, tongue very well. Too good. Too good. Too. He was the a skateboarder. T- the T stops you. Like the Cutler is different. Yeah. That's different. <laughs> it's kind of different. It's even cooler that my middle name's Scott, because now there's a rapper named Travis Scott. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure he'll die. Then he'll be an infamousy forever. <laughs> I just I should just put my name in the title of stuff, and we'd get like a million more people to watch it. Right? <laughs> put your full name. Featuring Travis Scott. And just don't put your last name. <laughs> they'll be like, What? Not the rapper. <laughs> Where's Travis Scott? Right here. <laughs> then I'll start rapping some Vanilla Ice. Or maybe some Babies Got Back. Right. Here it's like, how about Luke Hobbs from Fast and Furious and Hobbs and Shaw? Travis is a dope name. I would name my second son that if I have a second son. No offense. Travis sounds like a thug name. Okay, so so I was in trouble all the time. So he's like, okay, it's a dope name, but it's also a thug name. <laughs> Aaron, you are a contradictory of terms tonight. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with dope and thugs in the same <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Aaron Travis Scott sicko mode. Is that a song he does or something? I like A A Ron. A A Ron. A A Ron. <laughs> So my baby's mom married a guy, and his name was A.A. Ron, and I thought that was pretty cool. A.A. Ron. But then they got a divorce, and now she's married to another guy. Yeah. True that. That is a true story. We were never married, so she hasn't been married three times. (laughs) Look at Brandy begging. She's like, please, please. Don't hurt me. Please. She's like, just touch my nose. She's like, no, kick you in the face. Chris Statlander just jacked her. Big old clothesline. Hmm. Ooh, Mel saved her. Ouch. I keep forgetting to write down the matches. Oh, yeah. Did you get everybody in this one? I do. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what Sheeta's first name is, but I just call her Sheeta. That's that is her name. Well, th- when the, she was coming down, there was a name in front of it. Oh, was there? Mm. Oh, they just call her Sheeta. That's what I call her. Maybe it's Hiro- Hiroku. Yeah, Hiroshima Sheeta. Hiroku. Or something. something like that, I think. I don't know. And Aaron's letting us know that his full name is Aaron Samuel Reed, hence why he would be naming his child. Aaron Samuel Reed Jr. Makes total sense now. Were you raised in a biblical family? They really churchy? Sounds like it. He goes to church. Well, Samuel's very, very, very. Yeah. He says, My parents name. got Aaron from the Bible. Well, and Samuel. Both my names are from the Bible. Because yeah. <laughs> Aaron was Moses' brother. Yeah. So Moses is my brother. So Moses is my brother. So, like, is Moses like your brother? Real brother? Like, do you have a brother named Moses? You have Moses? a brother named Moses. Because <laughs> the only Moses that I ever really have known is Moses Malone. <laughs> and that's a real name. He was a basketball player in the 80s. <laughs> and Aaron said, I love you, Moses, if you can hear me. <laughs> He's part in the sea. He's off part in the it's sea. It's very noisy when you have the ocean up on both sides. He's busy. He's busy. 
murdering sea life. <laughs> That's not murder. He just moves it. Um, he's probably murdering sea life because there's stuff that grow on the rocks and stuff and everything that you can't move. It's divine. Uh, no. Are you talking about like the walking on the rocks? Grizzled young James. Oh Drake. shit! Looks like Mel's done. Ew! Did he? Did she get her? She did. Statlander. Statlander dead? wins. Wow! Good for Statlander and Sheeta. And what are they called? The Nightmare Collective. The Nightmare lost. Collective lost their first match ever. With uh, Brandy Rhodes and, and Mel, Mel and Doctor Luther. So I want to call him Mel B. You know who Mel B is? A uh, person? Yeah, she's a singer. Yeah, that girl. Tell me what, what you want, what you really, really want. Tell me what I want, what you really, really want. What I, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. mad. She's like winning. smacking her. That's not very nice. You probably shouldn't treat your underlings like that. That's how you control them with a fist, an that's, iron fist. That's not very nice. This is the Dark Order stuff here. Yes. I need a tabletop. You have a tabletop, but you're using it for other stuff. Well, I can't reach it. <laughs> I don't want to lean. <laughs> a little table. Ew, your stuff is on my chair. Ew. Stay out of my personal bubble. We didn't know you left, Aaron, but it's cool you're back. When did you leave? I don't know. He didn't. He said, I love Moses. Can you hear me? And then he says, okay, I'm back. I just didn't even think about it. I was like, doo -doo, la la la. Anyway, Zara says the first time I heard that song was on an underrated movie called Sleepover. If you haven't seen it, it's a great movie. Huh? I like weird like B movies. So a long time ago, I found a movie on uh, Netflix. This is a long time ago before they went like popular. <clears throat> and it, I can't remember the name of the show, but I call it Snow Day. But it is about a group of kids that are in Duke University, and they graduate, and they decide to go spend the winter in Aspen, Colorado, and then before he takes a job in Buffalo. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyways, he ends up meeting a girl and taking a job in, like, Washington, and she goes with him or whatever. But it's a good show. It's, it's a great one. It almost reminds me of that uh, one with that hot blonde chick. And they're up in Alaska. The dude passes. It's got um, uh, Galafalo or whatever that one guy's name is. Between the ferns. He's on a... Uh, what? He's on uh, Hangover. Jack Galifianakis? Yeah, that guy. He's on it. Zach Galifianakis? Do you know what I'm talking about now? The, the, and they work on a ski hill? No. Oh my gosh, it's freaking I probably hilarious. Have never seen it. It's called Out Cold. Oh. It's so freaking funny. One of their buddies passes out at the bar. So they take his ass. They put him in the driver's seat of his car. Mm -hmm. And then they all get in the car. And, they have, and they're on an ice patch. They push the car to the ice. And they get all the guys in the bar to start spinning the car mm -hmm. in a circle. And they get it going pretty quick. And then all of a sudden, they just all start screaming. And he's sound asleep. He's passed out. And he wakes up and he's behind the car. Oh. The wheel of the car and the car's spinning. So he's like, oh, 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 oh fuck. <laughs> it's so funny. You're like, shit, we would have done to our friends. That's it's, hilarious. It's like Hold having on. a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all laughing, but he thinks he's dying in a car. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. Victoria Servant or whatever was the blonde. Spanish guy's like, let me address an act. Oh, that's happening now. An act so heinous. So diabolical. So despicable. It has caused me to develop an ulcer. Oh. And a need to take and acid tablets. I'm too young for that. What girl is he going to say hi to? John Moxley. 
not that girl, in order to get the car, you had to join us. You set us up. And a fraud. Ugh. The inner circle made you an offer. Your refusal was your biggest mistake. Oh, now I have no idea what's going on. Sorry. Is that Tarzan? No, I'll never know. Are they making a Tarzan movie? No, they already made that. The Legend of Tarzan. Oh. They're just saying, hey, watch this movie. It's on TNT. Never seen it. So they stopped giving us picture in picture, so I have no idea what they were saying after so that. they just stopped. They're like, hey, look what's up. And nope. Now we don't get to see what nope. girl he was doing a shout out to. Nope. No. Denied. Denied. Maybe it would be Mel B. Because no. I was talking about him. Denied. It'd probably be somebody younger because yeah. he looks young. No. no. Anyways, there was some girl that was in a weird chair up top in a bikini. Yeah, they, they show her every time. Oh. That's the beach thing. Oh, oh, okay. She's in a lifeguard chair. I didn't know that. Yeah, they've shown her every single time that somebody's Who come down to the Who eats vegetables with just sour cream on them? That's disgusting. What is wrong with these people? Ew. Ew. That's so weird. Like, really? Like, you just put some sour cream out there and you're like, here's a fucking carrot. Mmm. Old carrots. Is you anybody like sour excited cream? to watch that 68 whiskey? It's by the makers who did Yellowstone. I like sour cream in stuff or mixed with things or you on stuff. You can continue stuff. with your question, but that doesn't even sound interesting. 68 whiskeys? Yeah. Si no, it's called 68 whiskey. So it's kind of basically like a, not like a redo of mash, but it's like mash almost, but it's during, it's for, through, it's during Afghanistan instead, but they're a medic team uh -huh. in, in war, but it's like supposed to be kind of funny, goofy, yet serious stuff or whatever. So like match. Anyways, yeah, that's what I said. Like like that. So I was like, huh. I was like, that's just like mash. <laughs> but he I've heard spaghetti. a lot of people say that Yellowstone was really good. My brother's like, have you watched that yet? It's so good. I'm like, no. My mom loves I it. Haven't. She wants a new one. I'm like, it's not out yet. Of Yellowstone? Uh-huh. I think that's what it was called. No, the one on Netflix oh, is called Yellowstone. Never mind. That's called The Ranch. Yeah. The Ye Yellowstone is different. Yeah, it's got uh, what's his name? Kevin in it? Costner. Kevin Costner. She's so seen that too because really I think that's good. a show, right? Yeah, like, it's a show on Paramount. I thought she a TV show. I thought it was a movie. Mm -mm. No. Anyways, but my brother's like, he should watch it. Boom! That was last week. Look at that. Yeah, he threw a bottle on his head. Done Terrible. that with forty bottles before to people. That's terrifying, sweetie. You've never bust a bottle over somebody's face. No, huh. I've never done that. People Do I look like the type of person that just was like, you know, I'm just gonna like bust bottles over people's they heads? They drink me with a forty, and I start drinking from the eight ball. My breast starts stinking. Left to get my girl to rock that body before I left. I hit the Bacardi. Oh, Aaron said, I don't know why I cuss, even though I'm Christian. And he said, Speaking of Christian, I hope he goes in the Hall of Fame this year. And he said, Is DDP wrestling tonight? DDP? I think he is. If not, it's going to be soon. Right. That whole setup last week. And he said, or is that on their pay-per-view? Uh, will they wait that long? Their pay-per-view is not till leap year day, the 29th. So right. it's still well over a month and a half away. That seems like a long time to wait. And then he's like, woo, Ric Flair song. Go and woo on a bitch. He said it. And he said, read my chats. No. <laughs> Don't ask me to. I won't do it. She doesn't like people to tell her what to do. Um, I want spaghetti. I'm hungry. You know, maybe you should make food then. Yellowstone is good. Yellowstone is good. I've been to the actual real place. I have when we were kids. I haven't been back since I was an adult and I want to go back. <laughs> It's right. I down. think it would be. It's literally down. The I think street. it would be a lot more interesting as an adult than as a child. <laughs> Just get out and pick up a badger, throw it in the back seat. Of your car. Yeah, I really want one. I think that'd be fun. Although I think it'd be way more fun if it was a honey badger, but <laughs> pick up a we wolverine. don't have those. Pick up a wolverine. Country. Just throw it in the back seat. Just keep it. Hi, like, you're so cute and musky. <laughs> Why do you smell? <laughs> 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 
as it's eat your throat out. <laughs> They'll literally fight a grizzly bear. Yeah, say, well, they're very mean. <laughs> I always see the little <laughs> memes about those, like, hey, Taurus, pick these things up. Because they, they grab, like, baby buffalo or something, and they pick them up. That was the one thing, but yes. Right? And so they're like, pick this thing up. He's lost and lonely. <laughs> Get out and pick up a freaking wolverine. <laughs> Have fun with that one. Those stupid asses, they do oh, that. Oh, it wants a hug. They did the turn to do that with buffalo as it is. Those fucking bison freaking bred people over. It's hilarious. They're big. I'm like, you guys get what you deserve. Like, respect nature, assholes. Just because it's in a park and it, like, comes up to your car doesn't mean it's not a wild animal. Duh. I think Moxley's going to end this match right here. Well, he better because it's ridiculous. Well, I don't even know what that move was. But it's a there's no way you're gonna pin somebody DDT with them. Something flippy flop. It wasn't anything. It was like a half-hearted suplex. It was a throw in the air suplex. He let gravity do this work for him. Uh oh, throat crush. He's gonna kill him. Throat slash. That's terrible. That came from Chris Benoit. A throat slash. Mm -hmm. Is he gonna do that right on the? Okay. I was like, that'll be brutal. And Sammy Aaron's Guevara. tired, and he might have to go soon. I'm not leaving yet. Okay. All righty, boss. He's like, Travis, Damn. I can't wait to go to Houston a week from tomorrow. We are leaving next Thursday to get a head start, so we won't miss the rumble. Well, you shouldn't miss it, but it is a four-day thing. You should be able to watch when worlds collide, but I'm not sure if that's going to be there or not, if it's going to be in Houston. You'd have to look that up, but you might be able to watch both. I don't know if they're doing the Raw, the SmackDown, and... Because I know they do that with the major pay-per-views. But I don't know if they're doing that with the Rumble. Rumble. Uh, that would be the way to go. Watch the SmackDown before it. The, your NXT stuff before it. The show. And then stay for freaking Monday Night Raw. Let's do it all. Although, WrestleMania will be in uh, Los Angeles in the next couple years. So what Vince is trying to do is he wants the Super Bowl to go there first to the Los Angeles Stadium. Mm. And then he wants to go there the March after. So the Super Bowl will be in February, and then he wants to go March and then break the attendance record. Because it'll set the attendance record, and then he wants to break it. I see. And But they want him to come next year, which is the year before, because the Super Bowl won't be, ugh, Super Bowl won't be there. How would he be able to do that? Vince? No, how would he be able to break the attendance record? Because they usually make it smaller, like no, close it. Yeah, they do. For WrestleMania, they use football stadiums and they pack it to the brim. Every time that WrestleMania is, they are way different. They pack that son of a it bitch. It doesn't look like it on the when we watch. They had them. like a hundred thousand plus people in the Texas stadium. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's all. How many usually are at a? Like around sixty. That's it? Are you kidding me? 60,000 people? It's like the whole population of our city. I'm just saying, is that it? So that's it? That's all they have for their for football Super games? Bowls? No, football games. Super Bowl. Super, Super Bowl. Super Bowls, they would probably pull in around 80. That's it? Where would they put them? If people have to well, sit Well, you somewhere. just said that they have a stadium. They can put 100,000 of them in there. For wrestling, because they put them on the field. They put chairs out on the field, and then they mm -hmm. put the ring in the middle. Remember the Miami um, one they did not too long ago, and they had the big long ramp. Think about how long that ramp was. No, you know I was one with the Undertaker. You were you, here. I might have been here, but that doesn't mean I was watching. I was probably cooking for all your stupid people. You stayed till like ten thirty. You were all upset. That was the night that Roman retired um, the Undertaker, but it didn't really happen. I'm sure I wasn't upset about that. You were upset because you were still here. Yeah, because it was stupid and long. I, it was stupid. That's what I'm talking stupid. about. Stupid. It was that one. It was that because I had He's to wait till everybody left so I could clean up everything. Anyways, Aaron says, actually, we are coming back to Anaheim that Tuesday, so I won't be here for the Raw. Aaron That's says, right, that lost. means I won't be in the stream on that Monday night. And Luke says, a football game at Dallas Stadium holds almost 70K, but during WrestleMania, they add seats because they don't need, the f don't need the field. So add 20 to 30 seats. Right. Okay. 
Okay. And that's where they're pushing over 100. They have a place in the Dallas Stadium when he built it, when he designed Jerryland. That's what he calls it. That will hold like 10,000 people just standing in one little section. Mm-hmm. But they don't really use that. And I don't know how fire code it's supposed to be. But it's like a party area that you can just stand and mm-hmm. watch on the big screen. They have that screen. It goes from like the 30 to the 30. Yeah. It's a huge screen. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? Have you seen that? Uh, maybe. When they're in Dallas Stadium, it's ginormous. I don't pay attention to that stuff. Like, if I'm watching a game, I don't pay attention to what's in the audience. It's I on the audience. Attention. It's above the field. They'll just pan back and look up, and there's a TV the size of freaking this one in our room. Are they showing it when there's not plays happening on the field? Sometimes. They'll show replays and stuff on it. Well, I don't pay attention to what the replays are on. You probably don't watch a lot of Dallas games either. No, I don't because that the it's Cowboys a famous are stupid. freaking monitor. Yeah, well, their owner's stupid, and their whole team is stupid. It doesn't matter. It's still a TV screen. That's all I was talking about. Good. I have no idea. Ooh. Semi Guevara just him. keeps kicking out. He almost had him. Something Moxley cannot keep NXT. him down. Who is that guy? Some weird guy on NXT. He's with that girl. That I don't girl. know who that girl is. What is this? One more women's Dinner Championship Contenders Battle Royale. Hey, there's going to be a Women's Battle Royale later on. Tonight. For the Women's Championship. Over on NXT. Whoever wins it is going to go up against Rhea Ripley. Ooh. I don't see anybody that I want to win. Maybe down here in this corner or maybe a second one over in the top on the left. I have no idea. Leo Rush. He lost his belt. He did. They're like, we don't to like Guerrero, you. Guerrero, right? Or They're like, we're done with you. I think it was Guerrero. Anyways, Tyler Breeze. Aaron's saying something about he was pissed about that. Damn, I can't wait for you guys to see my seating view. We are right by the entrance ramp in the front, so you might see me on TV. You might see my face reveal. <laughs> yeah, you can always put stuff on uh, Insta, too. <laughs> on your Insta. Hold up a sign. You're like, I am Mr. Love. Guevara almost had him there. He almost did, but he's not going to ever get him. Ever. Moxley's struggling with a mid-card guy. This is weird. Like, why are they playing down Moxley? Uh, you know, they're always supposed to like act like they get beat up and shit, right? Well, not like that. Oh, he tapped out immediately. Yeah, after that, but still. I mean, he was struggling to win that match. That's weird. Mm-hmm. I can't go mark the first match as the best match so far because it's not over yet. <laughs> I almost did. I was like, ah, oh, this is the best match so far. It's like, wait <laughs> a like second. I'm done. I'm, I've checked out for the rest of this show. <laughs> I'm not going to watch anymore. I'm done. That was the match. That was my match. Okay. A.E. Dub. Hey, that's the stuff you like over there. Yeah, the center. I've only seen the one where the girl, like, just attacks some dude on the beach, starts stabbing him in the throat. But why? Do you know why? But why? It doesn't matter. It does matter. It's something about rape. He raped her sister. He raped her sister. Right. She had some weird flashback or something. Lights mm-hmm. are off. Is it time for the chairman? Possibly. The chairman's manager... His daughter is the champion over on Impact Wrestling. Oh, no. Lights are back on. The inner circle's in the ring. Mm-hmm. Look, you got Santana and Ortiz this time, too. Mox looks like he's in a little bit of trouble. He goes right after the champion. Beat down. Well, after what he did last week. He deserves it. Mm-hmm. He wasted a lot of bubbly. That and he stole the car and- Jericho used to have really cool jackets, and now I'm not a fan. Now they just look like they'll poke your eye out. It looks like a porcupine. On steroids? Was he going to hit him with his belt? Mm-hmm. That's Disrespectful. To the belt. He whipped him with it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jericho, can you use anything else? <laughs> What's with the lashing thing? They want to lash Cody, too. 
MJF. Mm -hmm. It's like, I want to lash Cody. Moxley doesn't have any friends. Uh oh, here he goes. Why would he? He's a lone wolf. Oh, mm. is that a big knee to the nuts? I don't think so. Maybe. Renee Young is not going to be happy. Um, I thought it was to like his knee, but I guess it wasn't. No, it was to his midsection, right below it. Mm. They call that a low blow. Aaron really wants Punk to win. My money is either on Punk or Canales. That's what you were saying. If you're going to put money on either one of those two, I would put it on Punk. Mm. I just don't see what's going to happen yet. I don't I don't get what's going to happen. I don't either. Those um those who I'm putting those are who I'm putting my money on. He says. Yeah. Oh, he's unscrewing one. Of, he's going to split him open. Mm. This is some old road warrior stuff from the 80s. Mm -hmm. So they did this to Dusty Rhodes in the 80s. <laughs> Holy shit. Is this going to really happen? Is he really going to split him open? Mm -hmm. You really think he's going to? Oh, he stuck him with it. Aww. He stabbed him right in the forehead. I think he got him in the eyeball. There's blood. That sock was white, wasn't it? Oh wait, that's, that's a rag. A Never mind. It's a soldier rag. Mhm. Mm Jericho stuck him with it, but I don't see any blood yet. Hawk and Animal did that to Dusty Rhodes in the '80s, in the late late '80s. Hmm. Yeah. We got some refs down there. So Cody was talking to that, or not Cody. Jericho Lockwood. was just talking to that referee. Oh. Jericho standing over him, yelling at him. I don't see any blood yet, though. It poked his eye out. Gave him a lobotomy. Aaron says, now for the women, I'm putting my money on Nia Jax or Ronda. Yeah. I'm with you on that one. I don't know exactly. I'll figure it out closer to the event. And we'll do a little prediction thing. Oh, will we? Are you going to do that? Are you going to uh, work that day? The 26th? It's a Sunday. Is that of this month? It's the last day of this month. Last Sunday of this month. I don't know. I don't know, sweetie. I won't know until it gets closer. Because you could always go in before, obviously. Uh, yes. But it'll be on. Or I can just stay three later Saturday. Um, try to get more done that whole week. I'm trying to get as many done as I can without having to work a lot of the weekends, but you or long back hours on the weekend. No. I'll be there all day tomorrow. Yeah, you will. Tyler Breeze. At some point, I need to, like, not be there so I can do some laundry. <laughs> you do laundry in February. Uh, sure. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> Why don't you just get your laundry and put it in uh, something and take it somewhere? Don't places do laundry? Ew. <laughs> just once? I guess. And you can just pick it up, it's done? I mean, just for the... <laughs> You'd only need to do it once or twice. Well, I just need to watch my unmentionables. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they've seen worse. Panties. <laughs> You're the one that wanted me to say it. <laughs> I said unmentionables. Drop them like, off oh, over really? at Ayla's. Tell her to wash them for you. <laughs> Poor Ayla. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> um, Aaron says, I heard a rumor that Carlito might make a surprise entrance. You were saying that. He spits in the face of people that aren't cool. That's disgusting. He takes an apple and bites on it. And then spits it 
in his opponent's face. That's Ew, good. so he like gives people herpes? Yeah, oh, everything. You feel that tingling in your lip? That's herpes. <laughs> herpes seems like tan. <laughs> Whoa, it went. <laughs> you're fine, I'm trying not to get where your elbow is, which is probably on my side. That is my chair. <laughs> My armrest. <laughs> we need a little table. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. I already said we did. No. So it's two. Just get that um, pillow thing that sits on your lap that like leans up. Hey, don't up. you have one in your car that you never will ever use? There's one out there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, but that one's like, weird. It doesn't. That's why you never used it. I'm pretty sure we threw that away. Or it's in that cabinet thing right there. I don't think it got put in there. <laughs> well, but it's in the garbage. I don't know where it's at. That it's in there. I'm pretty sure it's out there on top of the thing. You had bought one. I know. That it's was in my bigger. car. Yeah, I'll just grab that one. No, you stay away from my stuff. Nope. I'm keeping it in my car forever. No, you're not. I'll just I'm start keeping, using it. I'm keeping it in my trunk. I'll use it. It's my part of my emergency kit. <laughs> it's for your laptop <laughs> that you don't even use. <laughs> it's my emergency kit thing. <laughs> I don't see any blood. He lost his eyeball. It's falling out. Look at the ref or the little trainer there. He's like showing my arm off. Flex it a little bit. You're so weird. Look at JR. That's what he wears on the beach. <laughs> it's like what I got the other two. Well, I know. They look like they're actually supposed to. <laughs> no. Tony Schiavone looks like he just woke up. <laughs> Look at the other two. Tony Schiavone <laughs> looks like a handicapped kid that like woke up and he's like. I have to like talk about not stuff. All, not all there yet. <laughs> oh, he like funny. he likes balloons and red trucks. <laughs> balloons and red trucks. <laughs> well, his hair's all messed up over on I the know, side. I know. I saw. That's what I was saying. I was like, <laughs> look at the other two. You're making fun of Jared. I was like, look at the other two. <laughs> He's like the guy that the media finds after a tornado. We'll rebuild. We'll rebuild We're it. We'll rebuild. <laughs> <laughs> look at his hair. <laughs> He's like, I was in a windstorm. <laughs> we'll rebuild. We'll rebuild. <laughs> Oh, shit. What's happening? Interviews. I want to talk to the whole world. Who wouldn't want to talk to her? I don't. Uh, well, how could you? You probably wouldn't be able to make coherent sentences. Well, I wouldn't be looking her in the eyes. Well, that's why I meant you wouldn't be able to make coherent the sentences. The only way you could get away with talking to that woman right there is with sunglasses on. <laughs> and then you still wouldn't have a clue what she was saying. <laughs> You'd be like, why are you talking about the Trump administration? She'd be like, what? <laughs> the only thing I could think of. <laughs> We're going to keep an eye on you, Mox, because you only got one left. <laughs> so funny. All right. Aaron says, let's play the game wrestlers you don't remember. And... He said, because uh, the guy said on Twitter that Houston Terry Kemp can't wait for the reunion. And then he said, panties, 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 panties. And then he said, I don't like the word moist. How about Ooh, moist good. panties? Moist uh. panties. <laughs> Love it. There is so if you don't like the word moist, do you like the word hoist? Joist. <laughs> He's all like, what's up? She's like, ew, you're disgusting. You disgust me. Anyways, Aaron's like, let's play the game, wrestlers, you don't remember. Well, how Do am I going to remember him? Mike Knox? No. Do you remember Chris Candito? Yes. Simon Dean? Uh, yes. And uh, Kenny Dykstra, yes. Do you remember Test? Absolutely, he died. Test was one of the big time guys. Evan Boone. Born? Boone? I don't know. <laughs> said moist pants. Sounds like you're doing it right. <laughs> right? Charlie Haas. 
Haas. Yeah, I know who Charlie Haas is. Evan Bourne? Yeah. Well, you got most yeses. One no. I remember Evan Bourne, but yeah, I don't remember that. Chris, Mike Knox. Oh, Mike Knox. Or Chris. Oh, oh, wait, no, I knew Chris Candino. <laughs> hey, look, there's the bunny. There she is. The old bunny. Hopping around. The blade and the butcher. And her scary shoes. Oh, wait, no, she's wearing flat shoes tonight. So she could walk. Oh, well, that's weird. She should wear beach attire. MJF. So it's a six-man tag. Ooh. Oh, this is the one with Diamond Dallas Page. Oh, yeah, huh? Yeah, it is. Uh, Luke says, Evan Bourne was a super high flyer. And Luke says, Bunny! He's very excited about Bunny. And Aaron says, how about Rene Dupree? I remember him. I don't know any of these I mean, people. we're talking barely, though. These are those, like, mid-2000 guys that were, like, oh, probably like popular. No, they, they were, were popular. It was just... Mm -hmm. They were kind of like... Uh, who, who would you put them with? Zack Ryder types of the of that era. Ah. But weren't as all around as long as Zack Ryder. Mm-hmm. QT Marshall. Why is he eating an apple? Why is he coming down to the ring? I want my name to be QT. Why? I don't know. That's what you used to call me in junior high. <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't even know you. I know. She didn't know me, but she put in her yearbook QT. I wrote that on all the cute guys in my yearbook. I know, and I was. One I of didn't them. know any of them. I didn't. Nobody said you knew me. You didn't call me at home. Yeah, I didn't. Melissa Pusey would call me at home, and everybody would laugh because you spell Pusey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my mom is like, "Is that a joke?" <laughs> no, that's like a uh, nope. <laughs> I remember my first day in high school. We were in homeroom, and I always was the one that would get up and read off, you know, like any volunteers, and I'd just jump up. And so I was doing a roll call for our homeroom. Mm-hmm. Ah, shit. Melissa. It's Pusey <laughs> from the back. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, no mm -hmm. idea how you would say that. It's like, I'm glad you said it and not me. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> what was it? <laughs> <laughs> DDP. I do his yoga literally every day. I did it today. Not all of it, just like the little ones. I d well, you can't do it all. Yeah, but I did all of those advanced. moves. Why would I do it advanced? Exactly. It's the same thing. They just do it more. Like, like instead of when you're standing on one foot, you stand on one foot and put another leg over your head. He has a shirt that says, I banged Dallas's daughter. Who did? MJF? Paige? Oh. I wonder, first of all, I'm sure they have kids, and I wonder what the, his daughter would look like. Kimberly was pretty. His wife? That doesn't mean they have pretty kids. Sometimes they have ugly kids. I get it. Um, so we got QT Marshall. We got Dustin Rhodes and DDP versus The Blade, The Butcher, and MJF. Mm. What? Let's see. Oh, Aaron had some more people. Mark Jindark. I don't think you're saying that right, because that sounds really familiar. J I N D A R K. <sighs> no, I mean it, with that name, no. But if it's pronounced a different way, hmm. I don't know. 
Heiderich? Heidenrich? No, but I think he was a big dude. It sounds sort of familiar. And it says, I remember when Rene Dupree was doing the whole I love France thing. Then The Rock came out and embarrassed the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Not a surprise. <laughs> remember the hurricane? <laughs> he was a little superhero. And him and The Rock were a tag team. It was pretty <laughs> funny. Watch out, because there's a hurricane coming through. And he put yeah. his cape over his head. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Wow. The hurricane. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. QT Marshall. This, so this is the first time. This got to be his debut because I don't know who this guy is. <clears throat> he helped Cody or something the other night. It was... Uh, or Dusty. Dustin. It was Dallin oh, Dallas just, Page. He just flipped him off. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, attitude in AEW. If you're not into the PG stuff, AEW is right up your alley. Hey, Aubrey is our referee. It's the first time we've got to see her tonight. It's funny how little I pay attention to referees. What do you mean? I just never pay attention to who's refing. Uh-oh. That's her daughter. Oh, she's pretty. <coughs> There's also one of those type of pictures that... Makes them pretty. They, yeah, you almost have to be. You need pretty. to get them when they just wake up and they don't have filters on. Oh my gosh! I don't yeah. care about when they wake up. That's like their most natural. I no, it's not. That's when their eyes are swollen from being laying down and. It's yeah, not they haven't been able to put makeup on. Well, okay, you can go the whole day without makeup on, on and still be natural. Cameras and all that stuff. Anyways. There's nothing wrong with filters. Aaron remembers the whole Rene Dupree thing. He's like, Chris Masters. Yeah, the master lock. He was a big dude. Tagri. Big Daddy 5 or Big Daddy Tajiri? V. Tajiri, maybe. Yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah, Big Daddy V. Vader, or not Vader, uh, Viscera or whatever his name was. Chuck Palumbo. Palumbo. Chuck Palumbo. He was a muscly guy. Super crazy. Uh, no. Sandman. Absolutely. Stephen Richards. Yes. And then he said, damn, about DDP's daughter's picture. Damn. 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 Looks like we have Aubrey the ref tonight Sorry, <clears throat> for I, this match. I literally already said that. <coughs> then you said I, I haven't been paying attention to the refs, but I didn't hear you say it was Aubrey. I said it's Aubrey. It's funny how little attention I pay to the referees. I think she was at this any is her other well she she got involved in the match before with the stabbing yes but she wasn't a rough ref she was just down there right but now she's actually in a match well she's not in a match but she's refereeing a match she's doing her job so they have advertisements for a new nachos party pack from taco bell does anybody out there look at it and go i can eat that whole thing <laughs> i don't know you wouldn't, but it just doesn't look that big. I kind of want to get one to see how big it is. It's probably about the size of the keyboard, right? Like oh, a little, like a little shorter, maybe. Could maybe like, like that. feed two people. Just kidding. It's like two nacho bar grandes. <laughs> uh, let's see, Perry Strong Saturn Saturn Saturn. Yeah, okay. Perry Saturn. I remember Saturn really well. And then Aaron wants Aubrey to marry him so he can have sister wives. I'm not sure how his fiance feels about that. I mean, eh. you know, the whole sister wife thing, you know, the other woman has to be okay with it too, you know. You can't just be like, all right, well, I don't care what you want, bitch, but I'm going to have another one. Eh. That's not how that works. It depends on the religion you're in and the yeah. religion they're in. If they're not religious into that, then they get jealous. Best Kelly. way to play that off is try to hook them up with each other. Mm. And then you just fit in. That's how you pull out. And then they get rid of you. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. Then you just I go find two more. I think that's what usually happens. I've, I've seen this scenario somewhere before. <laughs> Stephen Richards, yes. Robert Conway. No. Uh, Sl Slyvian. Janeer. No. Mm -hmm. Sylvia, Sylvain, Slavane. 
Huh. Slovain. Maybe that's how you say it. I don't know that one. I don't know any of them. What's that last one? It's the guy's last name. Oh, he's trying to spell it different. Yeah. Whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know any of these people. Oh, back to the match. Beating the crap out of Dustin Rhodes. Who and is? Jeff's like, oh my god. It's me, Maxwell. I have a weird mouth. Look at Ew. DDP looks Seriously, like he Seriously, like... he needs to like put a shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> He looks old, good for a 66-year-old old man, Old man though. body. <laughs> He's literally re receiving freaking Social Security. <laughs> Ew. Barf. And he's had a horrible back injury. Yeah, that's probably why he's not really in the ring doing much. Jeez. No, no, no. He, he had a t horrible back injury and then came back and wrestled for years. Huh. And that's where he came up with his yoga. And it was called Yoga for Men for yeah. a long time. And then he just changed it to his name. DDP. Yeah, because he was all like, oh, my wife. Blah, blah, blah. It's the greatest workout thing in the world for men. And if you have a bad back. Or knees or anything. If you have a bad anything. If you're overweight, he can get you out of overweightness. Watch his inspirational videos on uh, YouTube. The one dude that was like a. He was a veteran. Parachuter, yeah. yeah. Couldn't, was told he would never be able to walk normal again, and then he's running. You're like, what? Rhea Ripley looking good over on NXT. Yeah. She's Hasn't been anything too exciting over on NXT. I've been kind of checking in over there to see if there was anything worth updating on, but no. No. No, no, But now we no. do because Rhea Ripley's over there. Sabu. And she's worth talking about. Yeah, Sabu. Maven. Uh, maybe was he a big big fat guy I don't know if the Megan Magan Majin and Maven are the same person or if they're two different people yeah, so. I'm pretty sure it's the same one okay. Al Snow absolutely Lance head Cade. <laughs> he carried her head Al with Snow. A, a mannequin head what do you want Head. <laughs> what, what, what do you need? Head. <laughs> oh my God! Seriously, people. Lance Cade. Yeah, I remember Lance Storm too. Do you remember Lance Storm? Nope. I don't know these people. Was definitely not a fan of Lance Storm, but he's pretty good. Oh. Oh. Dean Malenko. Do you know who Dean Malenko is? He was in the Four Horsemen towards the end of the, the Four Horsemen. I, I'm not a fan of these old men. Boom! It's over! I love hearing Tony Schiavone call freaking DDP. Diamond Cutter. I do that every morning. He's got like a belly band on for his back. Oh, he missed it. Ooh. Oh, shit. Is he going to hit him with the Shattered Dreams? I don't know, but that was a low blow before. Right. Um, Dustin does that better than anybody. Luke says Maven was the skinny black kid who won the very first Tough Enough contest. Oh, and no. And had a rivalry with Bam. Stalker. DDP came out of his sack punch quite well, didn't he? He's still out, though. Blade in the nick of time. Here comes QT. QT. He shouldn't have ate that apple before he came in because he's got a side ache. What? Oh, with Taker. Not. QT over the top. Right onto the blade and the butcher. MJF still in the middle of the ring. Oh, the bunny's in there. What's she DDP, doing? what's he going to do to a girl? He pushed her by the face. I don't blame him. He going up top. What's he doing? What's he oh, doing? Lord. Oh, something's going to happen. Oh, bad things. <laughs> he bad, hard bad, still. Bad things with old people. Bang! Uh, broken hips. Broken hips everywhere. <laughs> He's like, oh, my back. My back's broken. He still hit hard on the floor. Yeah. Good for him. Watch <laughs> the end. Watch the end right there. Bam. Oh. What, what happened? happened? 
QT just got pinned by MJF. Oh. Son of a... Uh, we didn't even see it. Yeah, it was a quick little roll-up. Why is the bunny over there with the with MJF? What's going on there? Because they were the Blade and the Butcher were his group. Why do I have Wardlow? I don't know. He wasn't in there at all. I know. I just like him. It was just the Butcher, the Blade, and MJF. Not Wardlow. QT Marshall lost it for everybody. D D P. See? See, look at it. Quick roll. Oh, with the t trunks too. Oh, so cheating. he was cheating the whole time. Cheating like a mofo. Lots of cheating. Oh God. Oh, I thought that guy was coming. I'm like, why is that guy coming down to the ring? Why did the other guy go under his armpit? MJF going under. MJF, we don't want to see you. We want to see the bunny. So just put her up front. Thank you. Preach. Get out of the picture. Zoom in on that. There you go. Thank you. She just blew me a kiss. Chris. The rabbit teeth. <laughs> Who's our ring girl in the back? That's not the same one from last week, is it? I don't know. Maybe. Hey, look, we have two ring girls. There's two interviews going on backstage. Hmm. The OC. Why is everybody pushing Paige? What'd he do? Well, he came up, got in their face. Excitedly? Like, oh my gosh, you guys are so great. Right. I think because they're setting up a match. Next week is the cruise, which will be our last show on Twitch for oh. AEW. Well, Hangman Page is drinking, so maybe he's just kind of drunk. He's celebrating. Why wouldn't he be drunk? I don't know. That's the only way to celebrate, isn't it? To drink? That Mustang just got a man thrown on it. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, let's see. Um, it was Taker, not Stalker. Um, Luke's comment about that guy. Um, Aaron Wilson, who's the guy with the porn stash? The butcher? Is that who you're talking about? Um, let's see. And then Aaron's asking about V tip. V tip. Veto. Not V tip. I don't know anybody named Veto. Hmm. QT Marshall lost WTF. Bunny is hot. I want to marry her. Aaron wants to marry every woman on TV. Luke says, oh, remember Becky's fire promo last Friday? The reason it was so good is Becky said the mist she was sprayed with was mixed wrong by a backstage hand and it legitimately hurt her. So she was hurt and super pissed, which inspired her promo. Well, at least now they know what to do. Put some rubbing alcohol in it and go to work. <laughs> Well, wouldn't Asuka have realized that it tasted different? She's all getting drunk. It's a joke. All right. I, I get it's a joke. Yeah, you. Mixed wrong. How was it mixed wrong? Well, they put, put something in it that wasn't supposed to be in there. Right. Candice LeRae. That's who I want to win. <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> Why? It's a battle royal. Is she the first one out? Yeah. Then she, she's not gonna win. <laughs> she's also it's a battle royal. They'll all come out. Luke said Becky said Oscar was asked by employees and she said it tasted normal. Huh. She wanted to blind Becky. <laughs> I don't think so. She's out to get Becky. I think she likes This is the worst wrestler in the history. History of wrestling, right there. Oh, you like Mia Yim? Is that her name? Mia Yim? I don't Ooh, think that's her. Mia Yim. I don't think that's Mia Yim. Oh, it's not? We'll no. rewind it on there and you'll find out. Uh, let's not play around with that. <laughs> Bianca Blair. 
Bel Air. Bel Air. Bel Air. Bel Air. Like Bel Air. Bel Air. I get it. Like. Cal- I get it. California's Bel Air. This girl's pretty too. Aaron said, "I'm looking forward for what." Hey, is this Kane Ricochet's is girlfriend? Do on. Look at her climbing the rope or the the ring post. She kind of almost didn't make it. And she was slipping. Is that the one that's Ricochet's girlfriend? It is, huh? What's that her name? Katianas or Katsa Katsa I don't know what her name is. Okay. You have to watch. The oh, names. hey, there's the Mercedes Martinez. Mercedes She's is already NXT. out there for her first match. She just signed. But she's a veteran. She's one of the top females in the world. There she is. There she blows. Well, shouldn't say that. Why? Who cares? Maybe she has a sex tape I don't know about. Who cares? I was just quoting Moby Dick. Uh huh. Hey, that's bad boys too. Yeah, they gotta play it because holy coming crap, out with we have two. Com- we have a commercial on both for the first time. Yeah, that is weird. <sighs> but it happened a lot last week too. Did it? Yeah. Let's see. Um, he says, "I'm looking forward for to what Kane is gonna do on Friday. He's returning to SmackDown." Aaron said that, and Luke said, "And Aaron, leave the bunny alone. That's Allie, and she's mine." And he said, Casey Catanzaro. Yeah. That's her name. That was close. And Aaron Cata, says, Cata, 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 Cata. Right? Cata, something. And. No. Let's hope that there's not another middle name that starts with a K for her name. <laughs> Kim. <laughs> Her and name's Casey Kim Catanzaro. Aaron says, no, she's mine. And Luke says, that's Ricochet's lady. Yeah, so, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Okay. Aaron said, I will have a match me There's and Pat. you. Whoever wins gets bunny. And Luke said, I told you Mercedes was a good performer. We'll see how she does tonight. Although it's her debut, you can't give her too much. Yeah. Like, if she doesn't win it, it doesn't mean that she's But garbage. if she sticks around for a little while throughout the match, that's pretty good. You know what I mean? She's not like one of the first ones to get chucked right. out or something. So, you know what I don't understand about that Charmin commercial? Woo! That they have on right now. Yeah. But the bears are all dancing around and... They don't have any pants on. Right, right but they're they're like, oh my god, you ha- there's underwear on the bathroom floor. But none of them wear underwear or pants. And so they're all like, what are you doing with your underwear on the floor? It's like, uh. Lou's <laughs> like, Casey was actually from American Ninja Warrior, and she set all kinds of records that went to WWE, or and then went to WWE. Yeah, I kind of remember there was a couple of them they got from that Ninja Warrior. It's kind of weird. I mean, just because well, you they're can super jump athletic. around and flip, you know, it doesn't mean you can wrestle. I'm going with Pac on this one. We got Pac versus uh, Darby the house elf, Allen. Darby Allen. Old Darby. And his weird shorts with leotard stuff under it. He wears shorts with tights. It's creepy. I like it. You didn't wear your shorts over your... That's what I mean. It's, did you? Yes. I didn't want to wear tight pants. Who wants to see all my stuff? What? So you wore that out in public, like in uh, track meets and okay, maybe football like, games. Okay, and... I, you're talking like gym shorts type stuff. Yeah, okay, he's not wearing gym shorts, by the way. Those aren't gym shorts that he's wearing. He's wearing like cut off jean shorts. And jorts. Kenna <laughs> calls them jorts. I was That's like, there are what? Jean shorts. I, no, I get jorts. it. I just would have never thought of calling yes. them that. Like a skort? Jorts. <laughs> Skirt John shorts. Cena. That's what I just call them John Cena. John Cena attire. John Cena attire. <laughs> I've got a couple pair that I've literally never taken the tags off. Of that are in my closet downstairs. Levi shorts? Mm-hmm. Oh, Jean did shorts. Did I get them for you? 
Uh, probably 10 years no, ago. No, I don't think I got you jean Kim, ones. Kim might have got them for me, too. I got you, like, cam, like the, yeah, the fabric ones, ones yeah. or something. I got you fabric ones because I thought they were fun. I just figured jean shorts are, like, chomo things. <laughs> John Cena garbage. Right. Like, so creepy. Oh, off the top. Darby's fun to watch. He doesn't have the size to compete against the bigger dudes. But he does have the speed and the quickness. Right, the so him and Pac should make a pretty good yeah, team thing here. Should be a good match considering what they both can do. Except for Pac has the massive power advantage. Right, because And probably can pe keep up with him with, with the speed. I don't know. I think his ears kind of deplete his speed. It slows him down in a foot race. It does. Because they're like big <laughs> sails. Unless there's a tailwind. Right. And sometimes he'll just fall forward, but he won't fall all the way over. Because uh, they'll catch, and then they'll take him home. Yeah. Aaron was like, uh, about Luke's comment about Casey, he was like, yeah, I remember her on there. And WWE, you utilizing her wrong. She needs to go to AEW to start fresh. Okay. not First of all, AEW doesn't even use females. Yeah, they don't really use our girls very so often. So we can't be pushing the females when there's no female. Like, it doesn't work. Oh, Baszler's in this? Yeah, Lord. I thought she was done down on NXT. I'm not kidding. I thought she was done down there. They're like, well, we don't want you here. Wait, no, we're going to keep you around. For I thought she would debut on this week. She's got to debut at the freaking Rumble. Right? So she's going to be in two Rumbles because she's... This so isn't a Rumble. This is just a Battle, battle Royal. Battle Royal garbage. Um, <clears throat> oh, God. Aaron said... Did you see that? Right into the crowd. Ooh. To start, Luke Harper needs to go to AEW. I heard he might go to AEW. Or I seen Impact. him in a shirt that had his name on it with Sammy Guevara, who had his name on it, and they were standing side by side. Ooh, the plot thickens. So, I wouldn't be surprised if he showed up. I thought Brian Cage was coming. I was super excited, and it looks like he hasn't signed with anybody yet. Uh -huh. Looks like he's still a free agent. And I thought he had signed. I was really excited for AEW. Right. And now I don't know what to be excited for. Me neither. I wonder if uh, Vince is going to swoop in and try to get him with money and bring him to WWE. Because that would be the perfect person for Brock Lesnar to wrestle. Brian mm. Cage. Yeah, after our fake news that we heard earlier this week. It's all lies. fake. Lies. All lies. Bunch nobody, of lies. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes lies. Shayna Baszler's just standing in the middle of the ring. Everybody else is kind of working. Uh, She's taking some time off. Yeah, Aaron's like jorts, jeans and shorts, jorts. Luke says, Casey said she won't go to AEW. She was going to retire due to nagging back injuries, but she decided not to, and Casey is definitely a high flyer. And Casey is still learning and getting her bearings. Right. And, you know, wrestling can be a very dangerous sport, especially if the person that you're wrestling Doesn't isn't, know what the hell they're doing. isn't where they need to be. So, you know, Ricochet could probably wrestle by himself without an opponent and do the moves that he does because mm -hmm. he's there. But for somebody else to try, you know, double backflips and flying and, and have somebody not catch them, mm -hmm. it can be very dangerous. Mm -hmm. And in the women's division... They're not as strong usually. And so when somebody's doing a back handspring slash springboard suplex, whatever, and they can't catch them when they go over the top rope, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how good of an athlete you are. Unless you land on your feet, you're going to probably end up getting hurt. And if you have back injuries, even landing on your feet can be a problem. That's true. You jar it wrong. Ah! End up like Tori Wilson. Aww. Can't get out of bed. Hmm. That's sad. It is. She's my favorite. She is my favorite, by the way. Of that era of the women. Yeah. The late 90s. She was in Playboy. I have her Playboy downstairs. Yes, you do. I have That's both one of thing you didn't get rid of. Yeah. For some reason it didn't burn in a fire. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't leave my side. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Well, he got rid of some other stuff. Her and, and Sable. I told you, why are you doing that? Keep that stuff. <laughs> Her and Sable were the Playboy <laughs> people. I think Tris Stratus did a Playboy too, but I don't. Luke wants to know what about lies? Oh, we. There was some. Brian Cage had signed 
With AEW. With AEW, and so I kind of announced it to the world, but it's not true. It's not true. It's lies. lies. Not on Travis's side. He didn't, like, make it up or anything. It was whatever information was gotten was lies. But the dude's wife came on and said, hey, look, if he signed with somewhere, I would have known about it. And he hasn't <laughs> signed with AEW. <laughs> She's like, um, let's set the record straight, people. Don't be dumb. <laughs> so during the commercial break, he power bombed, power bombed Darby on the freaking steel steps. And we didn't get to see it. I am very disappointed with that. I wanted to see something like Why that. Why would you happen. have something so cool Be on a commercial break? In a commercial break. And I get it that they don't stop, they don't do any breaks at all because of Fight TV. So can we watch it on Fight TV in America? Hmm. Good question. And then it, does it cost money or do you have to have the membership? Is there a membership for Fight TV? Right. But, I mean, hypothetically, if you, there was things on Fight TV that were worth watching, hmm. it'd probably be worth paying for. Aaron said, I heard a rumor one of the men to be Rumbler to are as follows, Cena, you know, Tyson Fury, Velasquez, or Punk, or Adam Cole. Right. I would have said The Rock might be on there, but with his dad dying today, I don't know if The Rock will even show up if you're a week I later. Maybe they might have a little bit of a, you know, thing for him or his dad or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, but no events. It'd be a joke. It would be like somebody would come down and start teasing his dad and then he'd come down and fight him. I don't know if they would do that with the rock. God, it's so hard to tell. I don't know. Vince didn't would. really get along with Rocky Johnson very well. They did bring him back in the mid early 90s. They actually wrestled together, mm. the rock and his dad. Mm hmm. And a couple matches. I think they did a couple tag team matches. I know they did one. I just, I'm trying to think if they did more than one. But. Luke said, oh, the same thing that happened to Bailey last week. Yeah. Basically. Like, what? <laughs> Here he goes. Oh, he just balls back. He just throws himself. He's just like, wee. He's like a human missile. Look at how bad he hit his tricep on those steps. Yeah, it's pretty yucky looking. Ah, it's going to hurt tomorrow. Woo! He's like, all right, you ready? Catch me. Wee! Trust fall! <laughs> right? <laughs> Carriage. Here he comes. He's getting excited. Slides up under. Flips around. I don't know what you'd call that. Like a DDT, maybe. Reverse. Bam. One, two. Oh! Pack almost got beat. Look at that fucking bruise. Mm hmm. That tricep looks disgusting. It's going to be like purple. It's going to be pretty icky tomorrow. Along with his shoulder. Like, it goes right over to his shoulder, too, on the back. Uh. <laughs> Aaron says, but the thing is, they are trying to do Roman versus Rocket Mania. So we might cost Roman. We might not. You never know with the rubble. It is hard to say, but like I said, with the Rock's dad passing away today... You know, funerals are usually within seven days. So, I mean, he would just be barely, I mean, maybe he's there mentally. Right. You know, I don't know how sick he was. I don't know if it was a heart thing or if he was like cancer thing because he was only 75. Mm. Aaron says, and also I heard something that they might have Ritz. That rules from the rumble, like when the person gets eliminated, they can't go back in after and dominate the victim. I've heard that they were going to kind of start experimenting, and I don't know if they'll do it at the rumble, but they were doing it on house shows where you could pin people in in the battle royals now too. Hmm. So they would actually have a referee in there. I, I doubt they'll do it on the rumble, but... It was just kind of like they were trying to ex expand some rules just to see how people would like it. It was about a year ago. That sounds stupid. Ah, I w wasn't a big fan of that. Just leave it how it is. Like, it's a rumble for a reason. Not, oh, hey, let's start pinning people in it, too. It's 
like, no. Darby. Oh. Quick now hold. we got a Ooh. bunch of quick one two counts. Oh, and a hold. Yeah. I don't a know hold, what that is. Hold roll. Half a scorpion deathlock slash roll up. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm just Darby's down being real quick. innovative. <laughs> the innovator of offense. Woo! Another trust fall into a power or a backsplat. Uh, blah, blah. Uh, suflex. That's the word I'm looking for. God oh. damn. Was that on his neck? I. I think he just dislocated his head. I think so. Sometimes I wonder, like, and I don't know if it's just the camera angle thing. Sometimes I'm like, is he dead? <laughs> like, that looks like that should hurt a lot. No, it was on his shoulders. Yeah, but still. Yeah, that that's was terrifying. It. If he wasn't flexible, he'd be done. Yeah. <laughs> Did that to me out of here cracking. And broken. Oh, she's done. That's a girl I want to take over the whole division. The one that just got eliminated over on the NXT. The one? Yeah, she's from WOW. Oh. Women of Wrestling. She's really good. Yeah, somebody needs to get rid of me again. Is that the blue-haired one? Yes. Oh, she's horrible. I told you that's her name, and you're like, no, it's not. I don't know what her name is. Her name's Mia Yum. I'm going by what you're saying it is. Her name is Mia Yum. <laughs> there it is. Falcon Arrow. One, two, three. Three or a hundred. Oh, totally knew it was going to happen. Well, I called dun, that. Dun, dun. I called that before the match. You said he was going to win. You're like, Pat's totally going to win. And he just did. He's going to win. Oh, somebody's not happy about somebody throwing them out. She went under. Now, are the women's battle royals over the top rope now, too? Yes. Because they didn't used to be. They used to just be if you get thrown out of the ring. It's over the top rope. Good deal. So she's gone. See? And then she grabbed green hair girl. So my question is, was that match better than the first one? I think it was. Do you think? I guess maybe. I don't know. That's close. Mm hmm Pack John Moxley next week. The winner goes for the title. Ooh. On a ship. They're going to be on a boat. Number one contender. So, I don't know about anybody else out there, but I don't like hair in my face when I'm doing stuff. And Pack's like, I just like it with my hair in my face. <laughs> Especially when it's all wet. <laughs> Physically incapacitated. Bam, there she goes. Katsu Diana loves her. Casey. KK. Oh, Casey. Can Captain we call her Kiki? Nora. Captain <laughs> Dora. Hey, Kiki. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. You gotta jump out your car if you hear me. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Not what people did. I don't know. What's her face is still in there for right now? She's getting beat up by Bianca Belair. Yeah, she's the only one I have left. The only horse I have left in the race. Oh, she's getting tossed out. Oh! Oh, she's out. Oh, dang it. Yeah, they don't like the pretty girls on NXT. They're like, they like the really ugly ones. The more homely they are, the better. I don't know who that one is. Well, that's Mercedes. Oh, is that the Mercedes one? I'm She's pretty built sure all right. that's Mercedes Martinez. Yeah. So she just got rid of Mia Yum. Well, God bless her. Yeah, that's Mercedes Martinez right there. But she's going to like... Baszler right in the She's center like, of the Holy ring. Crap, it's like looking in a mirror. Oh, wow. <laughs> they almost need to blur that. <laughs> blur their faces. <laughs> it's to hide their identity. Just, can we just watch your talent? Can you guys wear masks? Can you oh. guys be luchadors? He's coming down. John Moxley's coming down. He's talking shiznit. Back. Now he's got blood. After After the fact, he's got blood, but... When it actually happened, he wasn't very bloody. Whoa. Throwing things at people. Rude. Oh, that's it. Yeah, it's over. Dang. All right, well, I'm going to go with that one with the best match of the night. 
put a little check mark next to it. The Darby Allen one. Yeah. And then there was only one female match. It's kind of hard to do the females. There was a female match? Yeah, it was Brandy and Mel. Oh, yeah. So, it, like, automatically is just the best female match of the night. Chris and... Because there's only one. Face. What was her name? Statlander. Chris Statlander and Mel. Sheeta. That's right. right. Yep. What are you doing? Just milking a cow. You have to do it twice. I didn't know. All right, now we're back to just NXT, NXT for a while. Don't do anything. We'll hit, not touch anything. <laughs> I want to be on the other screen. I don't want to tap back to this one. Now tab, and you'll get to the other screen. Tab. Weirdo. <laughs> The whole point of having the keyboard on my lap the whole night was for that. Right there. Now I'm done. Right. Because all I have to do is hit that now. Oh. All right. So we've got her, 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 and her. We've got so it looks like Shayna Baszler, Bianca Belair, whoever she is. She's the prettier one that turned heel. Or the one with the bad knees. She had... No, she's... The she had the one with the bad knees. She had both knees explode. Right. And then she got her thing taken from her by, by the bad one. Right. And then it got hit in her face. So who is right. she again? I name? can't remember what her name is, but she's the prettiest one left. So we'll She'll go with her. Done. She's like, who do I go after? We'll try both. I just don't see um, Shayna losing unless that Martinez somehow gets her out. Is that Martinez laying down over here? Mm, so no. Martina's already been eliminated. Yeah. Shit. I was thinking that Martina might pull her up. I but I didn't up. see it. Right. Um. Let's see. Aaron said, "In as well as you don't have to go to the top rope to be eliminated, you can go through the bottom or the mid to be eliminated." I might do that rule. That would be stupid. I don't like it. No, not for the men. That was the old women's rules. They're not going to change. I don't think they should do that. If the women want to be treated just like the men, then I they should have to throw them over. Was the top he talking about the women? They're talking about the change. Oh, and we're as talking well about just as changing. you don't have to go to the top row to be eliminated. When we were Blair talking about into Baszler. The, uh, if you right, we're talking about the men's so. though. Right. Yeah. Okay. They're not going to change the men's to the old female rules when they change the female rules away from them. Right. Is what I'm saying. And so Baszler's been over. So now she did, they need some sort of baseball slide or something. Push her out. Get rid of her. Come on, Blair. She hasn't been back in the ring yet. She just moved to the middle, which means that's probably what's going to end up happening here. Nope, yeah. she's in. No, she's in. I thought something was going to happen because she moved herself to the middle. Right. She's like setting herself up. Ah, shit. Shirai is that girl's name. Shirai, that's it. That's the um, oriental. Ah. Oh, it's that crazy witch face. The one like, that look, hates her. Just anything to get rid of the pretty ones. Now the battle royal makes no sense and it's not worth watching. And done. <laughs> I guess I can go with Shirai, but they're not going to have Shirai wrestle Ripley, so it's going to be one of the bad girls. Right. So probably Baszler. Again. Or Blair turns on Baszler real quick. So but they could do that as a rematch. Right. Um, she hasn't got a rematch, so Aaron why not? Said, as far as surprise entrance goes, I see Punk, Edge, Kane, Taker, and Fury. Uh, KK, do you love me? Are I writing? Well, since this is over, I might go, Oh, guys. shit. Is this girl? <laughs> the Fresh Princess of Bel-Air. Get it. She just threw Basler right, right out. Some girl with green hair. Oh, did she not get eliminated earlier? Who was it? Maybe she didn't get eliminated earlier. She was one of the ones that got that other girl. She's out. So Blair's going to be the winner. So Blair versus Ripley. Maybe. Unless she, the other one wins. Well, I know, but Ripley's a good person. Like a face. So I just figured sure I wouldn't be the one that would be the one that wrestles her. Why? Because they don't usually do face on face. Oh, It doesn't matter. Neither of them are going to beat Ripley. Not this early in her career, unless they're going to send her on up for WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> or 
Which I would. She'd be a first class ticket. She'd right. be the one going. It wouldn't be Baszler. But who am I? You're Travis. Yeah, Travis Scott. So tune in. Woo! Say woo on a bitch. Party like a rock star. There it is. Hurricane Rana? Nope. Oh. Wow. So they didn't want their own women to eliminate the women that were in the ring, so they had women that weren't in the match eliminate the women. Isn't that kind of like cheating in a way? 619. But I don't know Tokyo's uh, zip code, so it can't be a 619. I have no idea. I wonder if you'd have to do, do the country code. Or area code? I'm sure they you'd do. You'd have to do country codes? That's uh, a country which is like a seven-digit code? Or 15-digit code? Jeez Louise. Can't it just be three? No, they're big. Country codes are pretty big. Have you ever seen uh, Don't Mess With the Zohan? And he's telling him about phone number, and he's like, yes. Seka, seka, seka. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because I think he's making fun of it, though, sweetie. Well, I, I don't get think it's it, real. but that's funny. <laughs> it is funny. I'm not saying it's not funny. I'm just saying I don't think that part's real. <laughs> I don't think that's really what happens. <laughs> uh, Aaron's sorry. He's got Wi-Fi issues. Ah, it's about over. It'll be over in literally less than a minute. And Aaron's, I'm going to go. He says, bye, guys. I'm going to go. Love you All guys. right. Bye. Have a good night. All right, see you, Aaron. Have a good night. We'll see you on Friday. Yeah, for Friday Night Smackdown yeah. on Fox. Yeah, we're just waiting out this uh, weirdness that's happening. Who's going to win this? So I's standing on the top mm. rope, so that's not the smartest move. No. Is she going to do the Frankensteiner? Yep. Maybe. Oh! Nope, she caught her. Now she's not. She's like, oh, don't throw me over that way. I'll punch you in the head. It's a lot of ab strength. A lot of core strength in there. Kick you in the face. There it is. Now kick her. Good kick and it's over. Right? She's not going to do it though. Right? She's like, I have to punch you first. Kick her in the nards. Kick her in the nards. There it is. Now they're both over. Aaron, we're just waiting for the rumble... Royale, the battle royale from the women to be over to see who's going to be the champion. It'll be over in just a second. It looks like Blair's got her up. Person who's going. She's just going to fall back with her. I don't know. What are Does they... that eliminate both of them if they did? Whoever touches first, both feet down. Ooh. Oh, she punched her in the head. Maybe just get back in the ring. Right. Just saying. All you have to do is lay down a roll. Right. Just lay down a roll back in. I wonder what EST means. Estimated. Established. Oh, she's got her hair. Usually it's established. She's got her hair. She's like, oh, you can't get away. The oh, thing I'm so is, sorry. is she's going to pull that. Yep, I knew that was coming. Get in the ring. Oh, yay, she's in. She's tying her shoe. She's like, I'm knocked out. I'm tying my shoe. Shh. Don't <laughs> tell anybody. Why she's knocked out, she tied her shoe. <laughs> the ref's like, yeah, all right. Do you need yeah. a second? I just need my shoe tied. I just need to tie my shoe so I don't trip. So now they're both back in the ring. I so be safe. they've got to be th re thrown over the top rope. Yeah. I don't even know what the crowd's yelling. Hooray or something? I have, to, um, I have no idea what they're saying. Oh, she ran after her. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, that's not going to work. Walk up. Damn. Right in the head. Shotgun drop kick right to the face. Yeah. She's like, come on, everybody get excited. Here we go. We little spear. It was like a hand spear. <laughs> Luke's LOLing and Aaron's asking, You guys gonna go too? Nope. Not and quite Aaron, yet. Love you guys. Stay positive and bye. <laughs> We will be going bye bye here after this match. Yeah. We're just waiting for a winner. We're just waiting. Who's going to win? Who's going to go up against Rhea Ripley? Who's going to be the person who's going to take on the champion? Who? 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 I want to see Bo Bianca Blair wrestle Brutus of Barb Reef Kick in a hair match. <laughs> there she goes. But she held on. No. Oh, God. 
Ouch. And she's out. Blair wins it. Oh, Blair. <laughs> Luke's LOLing the match. <laughs> that was just ridiculous. I think we need the Nightmare Collective over here to cut off her hair. Right, with the shaving? Yeah, I really just want it to happen. Like, somebody just take off her fake weave she got going on there. You know that shit ain't real. Well, I'm going to have to be cheering for Rhea, but I would have cheered for Rhea no matter who won that. True. Very true. Very true. So it looks like Bel Air is getting her quote unquote push for a chance of the championship. Yeah, but it's not going to be a legit one. No, not ever. She's mid mid card at best. Her hair gimmick's pretty cool. I mean, when she beats people with her hair. Yeah, I don't know. And that's if she stupid. gets called up to the main roster, she'll be the Dana Brooke role. That's dumb. On the main roster. Luke says, okay, have a good night, guys. And don't forget to keep video settings this way, please, for Friday. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll just leave it like this Luke until says, we're back on YouTube. Be safe and see you Friday. All right, All boss. Right. We will see ya. See ya. And bye again, Aaron. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> we're out. All right. Well, we're off like a prom dress. Yeah. And you guys have a good, safe couple days. And we will see you on Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. And thank you for watching Wrestling Gab. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.